The instructions for assignment 15 on computer terms glossaries available in Canvas in either the assignments area or the syllabus area. There's a PDF here that also gives the instructions in a nice formatted way that you can print out. So here's the PDF. The purpose of this assignment is to give you practice using dictionary collections. Um, and we also use a while loop to present a menu with some choices and a sentinel value. Nothing really new there, just some additional practice. The big emphasis here is on using and manipulating the dictionary. And so you're going to create a program that shows a menu. And then that menu continues to accept user input until they choose to exit by pressing an X. When they press an A, you're going to let them look up a term inside the dictionary and present the term and the definition. But B will show all the terms in the glossary alphabetized. And remember, the dictionary is not alphabetical order, so you're going to have to use the sorted method of Python within your for loop to sort the items as you go through each one of them and print them. Letter C lets the user enter a letter and show just the terms that are in the dictionary starting with that letter. So here I did B. Choice D allows them to add a new term and definition to the dictionary. And if it already exists, it advises them to edit it with choice E instead. And so choice E, of course, is then to modify a term in the dictionary. And if, the, if it does not exist, it tells them that and suggests they can add it with choice D. Otherwise, it's going to show them the definition that, for the term that they entered and allow them to update that definition. And choice F allows them to remove a term from the dictionary and verifies that that term exists in the dictionary first and that they really do want to remove it, so it has them confirm that. If they confirm it, then it removes it. And then finally, choice X allows them to exit the program and prints a goodbye statement. So as in previous assignments, you cannot use any features we have not yet discussed, such as classes uh, or functions. Do not sort the dictionary in your code because you're going to be adding terms to it. And so, so if you sort to begin with, it's not going to really do any good when you try to then print terms later without sorting those terms as you print them. I provide the initial dictionary code, or actually the terms and, and definitions in Excel spreadsheet for you. And in the previous video, I show you how to actually take that and write Python code in Excel to copy and paste in to make that much easier for you. My suggestion is create this one aspect at a time. So create your dictionary, then create your menu system in a while loop, and then use if structures for each of the letters. So then just create the code for if the user choice equals an A, you're going to have it uh, print a term, get that working, and then add your if term for if they under a B, get that working, and so forth. It's sort of that old adage of how do you eat an elephant? You eat it one bite at a time. How do you code a longer program? You code it one section at a time or one, one aspect at a time. Let me just demonstrate the project running. So here's the project. I get the menu system to begin with. If I press a question mark, it's going to reprint the menu. If they forget what the menu choices are, they can press question mark. Let's do an A to look up a particular term. So I'm going to look up binary. And I'm told that binary is the base 2 numbering system by which computers operate consisting only of zeros and ones. Let's do a B. And the B shows all the terms. and I will give you an extra bonus point if you can print the terms in four columns evenly spaced like this and going from A to Z across each com each row. So we go from analog down to zip. So letter C lets us choose a letter that we want to look at in terms of what are the terms starting with that letter. I have more B's I think than anything so I'm going to do a letter B and we see there are seven terms currently in our dictionary that start with the letter B. D allows me to add a term. So I'll add flowchart. And then ask me to put in the definition for flowchart.
My definition is a method of representing an algorithm using standardized graphic symbols. I'm going to press the Enter key. I'm told that flowchart was added to the glossary, and then I see what flowchart, the term flowchart, and the definition. And I'm asked to enter a new choice. Choice E allows me to edit. I'm going to go back and simply choose that same one again, flowchart. By the way, if I do something that's not in the dictionary, let's say I do flowchart in two words. I'm told that term does not exist. I'll enter flowchart. I'll enter E. Type in flowchart. I'm shown the definition and given a chance to change it. So I might copy and paste. That's why we want to show the definition, make it a little easier for them. And I'm just add and flow lines to my definition. Press the enter key. And I've changed that definition. If I do an, a B to see all of my terms, You'll notice that flowchart now occurs in those terms. And we've added an extra term. So I have two in that last row, where before I just had zip. And then F allows me to remove. So again, if I type in something that's not in the, the terms, I'm told it doesn't exist. I'm asked to confirm that I want to remove it. And if I type in anything other than a Y, I'm just going to type in an N, then nothing is removed. Let's actually remove it this time. I'm going to type in a Y for yes. I do want to re remove it. And it tells me flowchart was removed. And again, if I type in a B to look at all of the terms, flowchart is no longer in my terms. And next to exit. And I'm told so long, farewell, auf Wiedersehen, goodbye. That is the Computer Terms Glossary Assignment. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.